This is a true story of seven strangers picked to live in a house and have their lives taped. Find out what happens when people stop being polite and start getting real. The Real Spell House of Atlanta Hill. Of my stuff. Who ate my monosaccharides? I bet you did it. Yo, hold on, hold on. What are you talking about, yo? Why I you... know you ate my monosaccharides. Monosaccharides? What is my that? Big D? Texas cinnamon roll. What is that? DL? What is that? What is that? You know there's a difference, right? You know the D, the OH is, is on the right on the end of the group, while in the L is on the left. So I don't know what you're talking about because I don't know what you're talking about. Please just leave me alone. I'm on the phone. Well, did, did he just. Did he just do that? He did. He did. Ooh, hold me back. Hello, you need to get up and go buy me some more. Yo, I'm not going anywhere. And besides, yo, have you seen those dishes you left in the sink? Yo, you need to be worried about doing them dishes rather than worrying about this sugar. I am right? not the only person in this house. Well, you're the only person who's messy as ever, yo. You're the only one who left them dishes in the At sink. At least I don't eat other people's food. At least I don't leave dirty dishes in the sink. It's only a monosaccharide. It's not that big of a deal. Stop arguing over me. It's not even a polysaccharide. I'm just studying. Oh. Well, you know, I'm trying to study. What are you making all this racket about? He ate my monosaccharides. Girl, this thing is loaded with monosaccharides. Monosaccharides are the most basic of carbohydrates. They contain one sugar and are usually water soluble, crystalline solids that are colored. Monosaccharides have a sweet taste, which is probably why someone ate your stuff, girl. Monosaccharides contain either a ketone or aldehyde functional group or hydroxyl groups on all or most of non carbonyl groups. Well, he need to find something else to get all that goody goody sugary stuff because, you know, I need that. I need my energy. There's nothing to eat around here, you know. They just need to get together. That's all I got to say. Well, but you thanks, can get this from anything. Thanks for enlightening me about that. No problem. Keep it down. I'm trying to study my organic chemistry. Ooh. You know how Dr. Gill is. Girl. No, she did not. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm just kind of sad because, you know, my grandma, sugar mama, she seems to be having some health problems. Wait, don't you want to know? You ask. Well, anyways, um, she seems to be gaining a lot of weight, and I think she's having a lot of problems with her glycoside intake. Oh, glycosides are a large and very important class of carbohydrate derivatives characterized by the replacement of the anomeric hydroxyl group by some other substituent. If you find that she is taking in more carbs than necessary, go see Dr. Coleman at 350 Spelman Lane in Suite 200. Duh. Well, thanks. Why are we here, T. Erica? We're making me miss my stories. Well, sugar mama, I thought it was important for you to come make this visit to the doctor. You've been picking up quite a few pounds, and I'm just concerned about not just your weight, but your health. I don't know if it's your diet, your nutrition, or if it's just something that's wrong, and we might need to get some answers to these questions. All right, sweetie. All right, come on, sugar mama. Let's go. Miss Seely? Miss Seely? Yes? Your appointment is now. Almost there. <sighs> I'm getting hungry. Well, we gonna get something to eat after this. Are we this. gonna go to Corral? Sugar mama, all you can eat. I, I don't think so. All you could eat buffet. That's how I like it. Let's, let's just have homemade dinner at home. How about that? Mm. How cook? Oh, mm-mm, girl. You know you want to hot cook? Right here for me. How you doing today? I'm doing well. How about yourself? We're doing pretty good. Okay. Now, Miss Seeley. Exactly explain to me your eating habits. Well, I have pork rinds in the morning. I have pulled pork in the afternoon. I have pork skins as a little snack. And a diet soda before I go to sleep. And hold on, wait sugar mama. Don't forget all the other snacks, two, three, and four. You, you better hurry, hurry. hurry. The doctor didn't ask about all that. Dr. Mm -hmm. Coleman, well, I mean, it's great. I mean, I really need to know everything about your eating schedule. But uh -huh. um, the reason why I asked for a urine sample today is because we use the monosaccharides 
as reducing sugar that are able to detect the glucose levels in your urine. And from that urine sample, we conclude that you have diabetes. I got the sugars? Oh. Uh, yes, but it's funny that you say sugars. Um, right here, I would just recommend that you kind of mm, calm down all the sugar. Now, sugar, sugar mama, not um, in the office and plus too much sucrose. That's your problem anyway, sugar. Sugar for sugar, not all the time. Sucrose is the most common form of the carbohydrate. Seems to me you have way more than you need. Try eating something else. How about this? Eat my snack, have my orange, and don't have this. You don't need all this sugar. So maybe that can be a start. What you think, Doc? I really think you're on your way. Between me and y'all, I did eat her Texas cinnamon roll. I mean, I had a female come over yesterday and a brother like me, I can't be falling asleep on these females. I mean, I can't have that going around. I need to stay up, so I took the glucose from that to give me energy. And you know what I mean? That's that. And if she ever finds out, I'm gonna deny it. That's all. So what we having? Oh, girl, well, I know I already got some chicken already in the oven. What kind of size do you want? Well, how about we have rice? Rice is a grain and also considered starch. And starches are a form of complex carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. So let's have rice. Yeah, also starch is also amylose and amylose pectin. So, yeah. So what you expect, what you want to have for dessert? How about brownies? Oh, brownies and ice cream. Well, not the second part. I'll go for the brownies, but negative on the ice cream. You know I'm lactose intolerant. Excuse me. I need another carbo pop. But did you say you were lactose intolerant? I am. Lactose is a disaccharide consisting of 2 to 6% of milk. It's a beta glycoside. And deficiency of beta glycoside is what makes you lactose intolerant. Oh, so that's why I don't digest as far as with the milk, the ice cream, and dairy. Yeah, instead of milk, try some cargo pop. Sure you have. Well, you know what you need? You need a good energy. Carbo pop. Carbo pop. How does it work, you ask? Sure, how does it work? Oxidation. 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 Glycogen. Carbo pop is glycogen, which is a starch polysaccharide, vital in storing energy in humans. And glycogen is in what? Your muscle. It undergoes hydrolysis to form glucose, where then it enters the metabolism where it is oxidized. Oxidized. Into water, energy, food. Alright, sounds good. I'll take one to try it out. Take it, we'll be back. Hey, you! Hey! Hey! How was the carbo pop? Oh, the carbo pop was great. And I, I, I wrote my thesis yesterday, I ran a marathon, I did the solar system. Man, if you want energy, drink some carbo pop. Carbo pop. Carbo pop. Okay. Alright. We got it. I'm just gonna keep doing stuff until you tell me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I think I really took them downstairs. <laughs> 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 I just hold on to it. In fact, start with the jump. Wait, the other one's gonna... <laughs> oh, no. Carbo pop. <laughs> <laughs>
See, what happened was me and this little shorty came over yesterday, and I needed my energy. Let's just leave it at that. Between me and y'all, I did eat her monosaccharide. Between me and y'all, I did eat her Texas Hold'em. What's it? Do it again. <laughs> We're just going to erase all of that.